We know now that in the early years of the 20th century, this world was being watched. Roger, copy. Eagle Houston, you're a go for landing, over. Structure station. Unknown vessel approaching. We need first contact protocol. Humanity now stands as partners of the For speeches, so how about we just go kill some Rick? Nice pep talk. Ha, damn. Here we go. Watch out. I got a bullet for you.
Something ain't right. Transport ship Caron. You are cleared for landing. Everything changed. The floods, the storms, the fires, people dying in the streets. The corporations gave us solutions. A better world. We welcome them into our lives. But the laws of nature aren't meant to be broken. We need to know what they're hiding. find the answers you were looking for, Agent Dark? Not yet. This is just the beginning.
magic, both beautiful and powerful, binds together our long history. That common bond we share is the legacy of Hogwarts. Now it is time to add your own story to these hallowed halls and quite possibly shape the future of the wizarding world. Every corridor, every portrait, every stone in this castle tells the story of witches and wizards who came before. Here you will meet lifelong friends and grow into your own magical abilities in the classrooms of the world's most talented professors. And while your journey begins at Hogwarts, brewing potions, taming fantastic beasts, and mastering spells, there is a larger world beyond these walls. A world filled with dangers you can't yet imagine. An ancient knowledge long gone from this world. That strange and mysterious talent you possess may be the key to unlocking this dormant power. Your potential is limitless. But what form will it take? The journey ahead will reveal what you stand for. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Great cities turned to graves. In their place came new life. Secret I won't unlock. No barrier I won't cross. This mission is mine alone. 
If I falter, if I fail, there won't be anyone left to stop what's coming. It's beautiful, Migo. Perfect, but useless. I have something for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa. Now, I... the grenade is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? Breathe, Diego. Breathe. The pin simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Follow me. Now. I am El Presidente, which means that someday you will be El Presidente. And our people, they do not know how to be happy. They are torn apart by opinions, noise, indecision, strangled by their own freedoms. And even if you have love in your heart, even if you want what's best for them, if you only want to save them from themselves, They will hate you, Diego. Everything you say, do, believe, will be wrong. They will answer you with screams. 
call you evil. A monster. And give you this. So you tell me, are you evil? Are you a monster? Because our country is like this grenade, except it has two basic parts. Our people. And you. And you must clutch them nice and tight or we all. The world is filled with stories of legendary heroes and treacherous villains, of fantastical creatures and wondrous places where nature and magic live in perfect harmony. Not all stories have happy endings. But yours has yet to be written.
Jeez! Deep inside a dark zone. Let's run away quickly because the infection will kill us. UV flashlight. Very strong, but needs to be aimed. Oh, come on. Come on. Our stamina level seems to be too low to open it. Infection progresses. Our biomarker is turning red. Another way to use UV light is the UV flare. It covers a big area, but lasts only for a few seconds. Which viaduct? Over the track. Luis Torres. I've seen your future. Global risk is get off the weapon. You will become. Destiny chose me to save this world. Blacklist, we make our own path. We protect our own. Can you protect me from fate? of him. Which come 
commanded the stars, giving life its fullest brilliance. The Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Shattered by someone or something. Tell me you don't see it. Look up at the sky. It burns. Right back there. No way. It appears that the dimensions are collapsing on one another. If we cannot get to... Get to... Right. The ship. I mean, we can't be that far. I have it in my sight. They have found us, Ratchet. <laughs> <laughs> How do I steer this thing? Ask nicely. Slow down, please! That's not listening! The dimensions are weakening considerably. How bad is it? Well, it is certainly not good. It's me. Ratchet, we are too late. Ratchet? Who? You see things others can't? Hear threats others don't. Fight when others won't. It's up to you to save Tokyo. We have always known war.
It forged our empire. Turned heroes into queens and kings. And decimated our foes. Now our oaths are lost. Forsaken. And you must face the monsters. Our sins have borne. Is an oath worth the weight of a crown? of mankind grant us strength. Thank <laughs> you. 
Roger, Uma. Half the crew is dead drunk in my sick bay. After eating your miraculous space chili. Any thoughts? Well, I have no idea what you mean. Our food is healthy. Mm, invigorating. Captain to crew. Dead monkey in the crow's nest. I repeat, monkey down. Else base chili strikes again. Copy that, Captain. Hey, Paige. Bet we could use your space chili to overclock our engines. Negativo, mi amor. Only you can melt my circuits. <laughs> uh, keep laughing, fools. The key ingredients to good cooking mm, is love. Starboard, it, it's massive. I right, get back here, Shani. Pull off. Lock down the bay cannon. Give me auxiliary engines. Deploy shields and pick off bombs now. Brace yourself. This hidden pirate den provides everything you need for your next strike. From your shipyard, you choose the Black Horn for the upcoming battle. The strong winds will boost its speed, giving its battering ram a devastating punch. Next, you choose the right crew and gear for the mission ahead. Demi cannons are slow loading, but deadly at short range. Rockets are blazing fast and deal powerful damage from every angle. With everything loaded, let's head out. The winds are strong and the day is clear. That means more merchants to rob, but also more rival pirates out looking for a quick score. According to your intel, the convoy is sailing past a Portuguese fort, taking advantage of the strong winds. There she is, with our loot! That fort is too strong to simply sail past. Its cannons can blast you out of the water. You need to find a way to sneak by before the convoy slips away. Rexite, Captain! Fortunately, deception is another tool in the pirate's arsenal. Let's fool these blackguards! Disguised as a Portuguese merchant, you try to creep past the fort. Captain, if we engage, they will see it through our guides. This island provides perfect cover for a surprise attack. Plot the optimal course for an intercept, rigging your sails for speed. You want to catch your victim off guard. Captain, there she is! Fire as she bangs!
ship sighted! Portuguese frigate ahoy! Your attack has alerted a powerful Portuguese warship. At the helm is a Commodore. Too tough to handle on your own. Even worse, you could lose your loot. You need help, and you need it fast. That one's with us! Other captains have answered your call. Four against one should even the odds. Your side forms a tight squadron using a coordinated battle plan. The enemy strikes first. The first ship goes down, breaking your formation. Turns his cannons on you. You brace for fire, absorbing the first blow. Your allies maneuver for position. The Royal Fortune acts as a tank, drawing the Commodore's fire. It unleashes its special ability, Siege Mode. Once anchored, it can fire its cannons without limits. The Jaeger slips into position with its powerful cannon. Its special ability delivers eight shots in a single blast, increasing the odds for a critical hit. The Royal Fortune can't hold out much longer. It's up to you to land the killing blow. is won. But the glitter of gold can turn new allies into deadly enemies. For there is no honor among thieves. <laughs>
Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. It is found in the smallest moments. In every step of a perilous journey. In the symmetry of ritual. In the bonds we share. Stillness. It teaches us to look beyond the expected. To be a light in dark places. To seek answers. And to stand watch over our world. Our world has a rhythm. We all sense it. But only a few truly feel it. of assassination is on the brink. All because of one man. As you take on the role of Agent 47, his deadly abilities, tools, and instincts are at your fingertips. You get to travel the world and kill interesting people. And with complete freedom of approach, making the how, the when, and the where all up to you. 47 can get in anywhere, sometimes with the aid of a stolen access card, a glean key code, hacking the lock with his new camera, or just using good old-fashioned brute force. And sometimes all you need is an invitation. You can blend in anywhere. Disguises offer you access to corresponding areas, but be careful around enforcers. They will call your disguise if they get a good look. 47's arsenal has never been sharper, from the classics to the state of the art. Of course, almost everything is a weapon in 47's hands. But a creative assassin need never touch a weapon. Surrounding you is a living, breathing world of opportunity. Action, reaction, cause and effect. From unfortunate accidents to careful exploitation of a bad habit. You can trick someone else into doing the dirty work, or you could simply book a meeting with your target. But it's no walk in the park. You must adapt as circumstances change. Your targets are some of the best protected people in the world. Some of them so elusive, they are only exposed for a limited time. Unlock new tools and weapons in our mastery tracks. 
Refine your approach as you advance across 20 mastery tiers per level with new starting locations, new ICA gear, exotic distractions, and stashed weapons. Receive ratings based on your distinct playstyle and skill level. And keep challenging yourself with a slew of inventive escalations and complications. Master the art of assassination, and nothing can stop you.
face tyrants and would-be gods. Seen friends lose life and limb. But there's always someone bent on breaking the world. It's time for a new hero. No magic hand. No ancient prophecy. The kind of person they'll never see coming. We've got your back. I've got your back. Demons, dragons, dark spawn. Even the dread wolf. This is your story. I had a real life once. I had a wonderful girlfriend, Linda. Together we drove to a small cabin in the mountains. Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the book of the dead. <laughs> it seems an archaeologist had come to this remote place to translate and study his latest find. It was never meant for the world of the living. The book awoke something dark in the woods. It took Linda. And then it came for me. Tinder could be a threat. You'd better think twice before you hand it to them.
Lucy Adam was born about 9,000 years before our time. In the year 515, after having federated the African continent, she set out to conquer Rome. It was on witnessing the consequences of this terrible battle that she decided to impose upon her people a strictly a vegetarian diet. And it's in 1082, following the unexplained death of the king, that she was crowned Empress of Spain. It's in fact to celebrate this event that uh, rock and roll was invented. In 1789, allied with the valiant Japanese, she discovered the real Indies, which had fallen into the hands of the bloody French. This was followed by the Great Devastation, a 100-year war that Lucy Adam ended before beginning the Great Reconstruction and establishing a lasting peace by banishing all forms of currency and violence, as well as the use of selfie sticks in museums. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Lucy, are you with us? OK, so for next week, don't forget your essay on the cultural stereotypes of the great civilizations that have marked history. How far will you push humankind? of a magical king. One of wizards and warriors. It's an epic tale set upon the high seas. An odyssey through time and space. Pew, 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 pew. <coughs> it's also a bit of a winter wonderland bobsled sort of thing, you know? <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Did I mention the big explosion? Be right there. Look at these dolls. Almost forgot they used to be humans. Ay, ay, ay. Do you want to know what this story is really about? Huh?
always known you would come. Do you know why you have? Secrets, lies, dangerous things. If you are to face what's coming, you must find your full voice. My name is Testavine, and the world is passing me by. I guess as I get a little older, I'm starting to feel how things change. They decline and go away. That's how it was with my grandma. I loved her so much. I thought I knew her better than anyone. But looking through her old things, we found hints of something she never told us about. A man who wasn't my grandfather, a burglary ring, some sort of lost fortune. We can't ask her about these things anymore, so we have to go looking for the answers ourselves. My mom and I are out on the road, searching. I don't know what we'll find, but whatever it is, I know we'll find it together. Welcome to Enoch, a hellhole of madness and misery. If you don't want to end up as worm food, what worked for you in the old world won't work here. start a new life that summer. For our family, it was just a stopover.
mine. It was the end of the road. On the ground, now! The sun went down on all of us that day. Was it fate? Coincidence? No. It was a long forgotten secret. Buried in the dark. All my life, I've been scared of the shadows. But now, I'm finally ready to step into the light. I got your letters. And making this easy. Morning, Black Reef. Another day, another death. Art time loops fun. For everyone else on this island, this place is paradise. A never-ending party. Where hunting me is the main attraction. And no matter how I try to escape, they always cut me down. But I'm one stubborn motherfucker. Every loop, I'm learning a little more, piecing together the puzzle. There's eight targets, and they all gotta die before midnight. There's just one little snag. You thought it was going to be easy? Juliana Blake, Black Reef's protector, and a real pain in my ass. She may kill me a million times, but eventually, inevitably, I will break this fucking loop. I like watching you die. I like killing you. There's a difference.
your kind. You sense the power that flows through this land. Yet, you do not fully understand it. Driven by the belief that you can help these troubled spirits. But you cannot hide your weakness from me. Twisted town. And stay down. The priestess of the great kraken, unmoved by fear. This is destiny. The legend. Oh, whose strength is only eclipsed by his kindness. Feel better now. The terror from the deep who preys upon the living. You won't feel a thing yet. Ever again. A dishonored swordsman fleeing from his past like the wind. And a nine-tailed fox who devours the essence of her victims. Delicious. I see no fortune for those standing in their way. <laughs> Can't match my blade. Can't help but wonder what brought them together. Nothing good, I reckon. <laughs> Virtual brain link cable will now be connected. This will hurt much more than it did in training. Be strong. Beginning SAS cable connection. Good. Seems like you're okay. Your minds 
and become one. Use the red strings to save the world. Yuito, Hanabi, look at us! Don't bother resisting. I will obtain the red strings. I wouldn't let that happen. Our grandparents lived for a thousand years, and our parents had a century to themselves. But us, we have one season. Yo!
After that last Barney. <laughs> what is that? <clears throat> Australian for hangover? I believe I can translate. Boomerang has a concussion. From the enemy you missed in our last encounter. <laughs> Guess those teeth are sharper than your eyes, Shark Man. I never you miss. Never miss. Oh, never miss. Yeah, yeah, we bloody know. You never shut up about it. <laughs> Task Force X. Alpha target is in the open. Get your asses to the Metropolis Grand Hotel and engage. Before I have another reason to blow those bombs in your heads. <sighs> Shit. Knock a few years off the old sentence. That's reminding me of something. Oh, yeah! Waller's stupid alpha target. Who are we supposed to be killing again? Oh, look, it's Superman. The mighty Superman has just rescued that pilot. What a show off. Beat it! Patrick Redding, creative director on Gotham Knights. 
On behalf of the whole team at WB Games Montreal, I'm really honored to give you a quick look at our gameplay. Don't worry. Elliot Center is covered in ice. Whatever's causing this is localized at the top. We're going to look at a short clip from one of Gotham Knight's villain crimes in a pre-alpha build. This mission is halfway through the Mr. Freeze storyline, and we're playing Batgirl a dozen or so hours into her character progression. All units at Elliott Center, air support inbound. Hostiles opening fire on upper floors. Air support, can you do a fly around? Freeze has recently returned to Gotham with a mysterious agenda that involves manipulating the weather to flash Freeze's city. We need a way to get through that ice! An important goal for Gotham Knights was that players can play all of the game, either solo or in two-player co-op. he wants a fight, he'll get it. Robins learned how to access the Justice League satellite for short-range teleportation. And while Batgirl has mastered some more familiar techniques. And developed a few new ones of her own. Heard you're down there having some fun. Fun's one word for it. Just a heads up, that chopper's under orders to fire on anything that moves inside. The Gotham City Police. Drop your weapons, or we will open fire. Returning fire! The storm is getting worse. You need to hurry and find a way inside Elliot Center. The GCPD chopper made that part easy. This doesn't look up to code. Whoa! If anyone asks, I meant to do that. I won't say a word. Wars were still going on when Freeze came through. Those poor people. They didn't stand a chance. Gotham Knights is built to let players approach each challenge with their preferred style and their preferred build. You know how cold it is up there, right? You want to die with exposure? Be my guest. This will only take a second. <laughs> Time to take the elevator. You'd rather take the stairs? These cables on the floor. Guaranteed they lead to freeze. Countless dead, and the 
temperature's still falling. We need to stop this. Now. Belfry wasn't kidding about this storm. Almost there. I see the weather machine. Ready with the disruptor. That thing's drawing so much power. Disruptors in place. It's charging. Get away from my storm engine. Is that what you're calling it? You don't want to be on the roof when this disruptor goes off. Trust me. Irrelevant. I already have what I need. The storm has risen over Gotham. Nothing can stop it! We'll see about that. You cannot run from me! important element of Gotham Knights is that as the player increases in power and ability, their foes keep pace. So confronting a villain like Mr. Freeze can be a very different proposition at level 5 or at level 15. And not just in terms of stats, but in the kinds of attacks and defenses they bring to bear. And that was just a short peek at Gotham Knights. We're going to have more to show you in the future. a uniquely talented acrobat, but also a gifted psychic. Don't forget my canoeing badge. It was a big pain in the neck. But somebody messed up and led him into the Psychonauts. Uh, that was you, Agent Crawler. This ten-year-old circus runaway was somehow allowed to join an international group of psychic super spies. And now he's headed to our main headquarters Right into the mother lobe. Man, you guys really like puns. But he better wise up. This is no summer camp. The mother lobe has its own way of doing things. Its own way of protecting itself from outsiders. Its fair share of dangerous, hidden secrets. If they ever got out, things would never be the same again for the Psychonauts. We are friends. Family. For you, listen, Rasputin. There are vaults that should never be opened. Not all minds are safe to read. Some brains are better off uh, broken. Don't worry. I won't do anything crazy. Well, whatever you do, just leave me out of it. Is that honey pepper boar bacon? You all 
know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. How do we even know the girl will be among us? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Sergeant, let's summon their icon. Icon? That thing's a bloody mountain. Our foe will not relinquish their mother crystal easily. This will be a bitter fight. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. Come, Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. Your sword to our court! What does it matter? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. Do they really mean to invade us? It's the Archduke's son. I'll kill you. If it's the law.
found him. Take him. I'll cover you. He's going into stasis. Contact. Head to the extraction point. <laughs> What have you done? I've traveled so very far to find you. How strange that your trail ends here. The very island of my dreams. When you left, I was withering away. But here, on this extraordinary isle, I dare say I've found my strength again. I'm scared of what it means. I feel the call of something deep within. Whispers of things long forgotten. Will we be forgotten too? What did you find here, Harry?
this war months ago. Your people are broken, scattered, haunted, defeated by me. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium as well. <sighs> the Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. continues to haunt me, old friend. It always starts with a journey to a distant land. There I find a city in flames, streets choked with corpses, unthinkable destruction. I witness senseless slaughter, brother against brother, pure hatred. And then, Executions, agony, suffering surrounded me until my turn comes. They burn my eyes, break my bones. I awaken in terror. There's no one left to stand against them. those things once more. For them. 
for me. Can I count on you? Bigby, can I count on you? Always. Approaching orbit. Scan's a no-go. Sure you want to drop here? Oh yeah. Already lacing up my boots back here. What we got? Another good-for-nothing space rock? Whoa. Hold on. Let me check. Find anything good? Rex, you're not gonna believe this. What the?
on December 24, 2030, a global blackout occurred. The world lost access to electricity and consequently, the internet and communication. A global conflict followed. Treaties were broken in a matter of hours. Guns, medicine and food became the new currency. Governments fell and economic growth ground to a halt as survival and protection became the sole necessities. Struggles for dominance continued for years as ordinary citizens battled against famine, disease, nature, and each other. But various groups still attempted to salvage what humanity they could, creating enclaves of survivors. We soon discovered that a few of our emergency satellites still worked, and with a bit of tinkering, we were able to connect them for communication. We used this to our advantage, locating other survivors around the world who had discovered the same method. Their suffering was no less terrible than ours, but their spirits were just as strong. Once the conflicts had calmed down, survivors started returning to the cities to revive a normal lifestyle. This was a mistake. Law had been abandoned. Justice was subjective. Bloodthirsty, merciless gangs ruled the streets and could only be fought with mutual intensity. But we knew we had to fight to restore peace, to restore civilization. We knew we had to venture forth into the nightmarish remains of our past and attempt to stabilize the world. And this is what we did. We're being overrun! No sector is everywhere! I'll hold them as long as I can! What are you doing here? It's happening again. Paris was just the beginning. This is a global invasion. So, how's Overwatch enjoyed our city? It's beautiful, except for all the killer robots. Look up there, that's the command ship. Then we know what we have to do. Oh, yeah! You're with me. We're getting aboard that ship. I knew you would return one day. It has been too long, Master. I can't do this. You've made your choice. Nobody will stop us. Trouble is cropping up all over the world. It's not just no Sector. A lot of lives are riding on what we do next. We'll have to fight. One city at a time. Let's then, Brigitte. I've got you, Papa. Watching your back. Now that's teamwork. Time to learn some new tricks. Sojourn here.
It's fully operational, sir. Excellent. Bring in the other subjects. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction. But I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Inside the hourglass is a marvel no living man has ever seen. Only the dagger can unlock the sands of time. No! I saw my father turn to sand. You cannot defeat this enemy. The sands will consume everything. Come with me then. But I warn you, I move pretty fast. You'd better keep up. Prince! Uh. The dagger! It can turn back time! Brought this on us. You are brave ah! and good. Ah! Ah! Don't let go. Back will look in.
Manfred Raufer, I'm delighted we can talk again. So, how do you recall your war? My war. Things we saw. Things we did. I'm sure I'll never have a worse nightmare in my life. But your story is exceptional, from what you've told me before. As I mentioned before, it's not only my story. It's about all of us. Ah, yes. Your companions. Yeah. What is exceptional about this story are these people and the actions we took together. From today's perspective, I see all this as deeds of madmen. You would say we put our lives at stake a hundred times, but the truth is, we were all dead inside. This war took everything from these people, and from me. Even our nationalities became questionable. Whose side were we even on? I'd say on the human side. We were like a pack of mongrels in this damn war. In every age, there is a cause worth fighting for. But in the future, the greatest threat to our survival will not be men at all. Now the youth of tomorrow must face an enemy more devastating than any ever imagined. Slytherine takes you to the front lines of the next frontier. Starship Troopers, Terran Command. Sun shining presence was a powerful ally for humankind's constant development, satisfying the ongoing need for discovery and expansion. Its warm rays were always a beacon of hope, fending off the grasp of the eternal and frightening darkness. Alas, a powerful ally can become one's executioner. An unexpected solar storm turned the life giving energy into a wave of destruction. Its touch leaving vibrant cities in chaos and disarray. Sparing nothing in its path, the solar wave also enveloped Earth's only natural satellite, the Moon. A desperate fight for survival began on the lunar plains, leaving fragile people defenseless, facing solitude on the brink of sanity. It is human nature to fear the unknown. However, there is hope. You have the means to become their savior, but what kind of person are you? How much empathy can one have when staring deep into the dark abyss? Because to survive, you must embrace the darkness. They have returned.
turned. They corrupted. Divided. Conquered. Until finally, the gates of the Celestial Realm were thrown open. Our last remaining hope, the Stormcast Eternals. Vengeance made manifest. battle ended the pirates' supremacy. Since then, the powerful navy preserves a fragile peace. Trails are ready to shape a new world. I rule this. 
this empire. was so simple before the invasion. But it seems those days are gone. faint rumors of a rogue squad fighting back. If it's true, then perhaps not all hope is lost.